Hi, this is Ophir Gabay bringing you another QuickBooks Online video. And today we're going to be creating a report that will give us our profit per invoice. So this is going to be very useful for product based businesses, so any wholesalers, um, retailers that want to calculate their um, profit margin on products that sell through invoices. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to be using a sample QuickBooks Online company file. Uh, it's called Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. So in addition to providing services, this company also sells products. And I'll show you in just a second. There's not a lot of data in this uh, sample company file, but it's going to provide a, a pretty easy um, demonstration of, of how this works and then you could apply it to your business which um, has a lot more hopefully has a lot more transactions than what we have here so basically um, I fill I ran a profit and loss report standard prof profit and loss report um, I filtered it out for a specific date because I know that this is the day that um, this particular company sold all of its um, products and uh, I'm gonna scroll down and right here off the bat you'll see the line for a gross profit uh, let's click on that alright so now we have a detailed profit and loss report um, this shows on top it shows all our income and like I said this is um, it's a landscaping company so it does have some services in here uh, which don't have a cost necessarily associated with them um, what we're trying to figure out is our profit margin on just the product sold so um, if we leave it as is this is going to skew our numbers a little bit because we have um, so some extra income coming from services so the first thing we're going to want to do um, is get rid of the services and if, if you'll notice we have several different types of income here we have um, the service from landscaping and then we have uh, installation uh, service income and then we have uh, service income from uh, plants and, and soil which are really non inventory type items they don't keep track of those and then down here we have our uh, income from all the product sales so they sell uh, mainly what we're going to be looking at is three, three different SKUs so it's the rock fountain, the sprinklers and the fountain pump right so the first step is going to be to filter out the accounts that we don't want we're just looking at two different accounts uh, the sales of product income and the cost of goods sold for those accounts. So to do that, we'll customize this report. Click customize. And then we want to filter. And the distribution account is the one we want to filter by. And I like to do select all. And then click it one more time to select nothing. Um, and then we're going to go down and just select the accounts that we want. So we want the sales of product income because that's our income from the sales of those specific SKUs. And then the cost of goods sold account. Alright, so now we could run the report. And we got rid of that extra uh, revenue due to um, the sale of services. So now we could see that we already kind of have like an idea of the, the gross profit right um, but this is only it's for a couple different invoices so if we want to break this down further um, to profit per invoice uh, for the sake of maybe paying commissions or um, any other reason that you may want to look at that uh, maybe to, to make sure that we're charging the right amount of uh, gross profit on, on each invoice uh, for whatever reason you could think of, we're gonna we want to break this down further into uh, profit per invoice. 
So we could do it uh, in several different ways. Um, this is pretty easy because we only have three different invoices. So you know, technically, you could do this, um, you know, by hand. But we want to. We're. This is just a demonstration. You know, obviously, you you might ha you're gonna have a lot more invoices that you want to look at. So um, the first step is to uh, customize this report again, and this time we want to add specific uh, rows, I mean columns, to this report. And basically what we want to do is we want to add the debit column and the credit column. And I'll, I'll leave the amount in there. Uh, it doesn't, it's not needed. But just uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll leave that in there. So basically what we added was the debit column, the credit column, um, in accounting, you know, the credits are uh, basically on this report, the credits are going to be your sales and the debits are going to be your, your cost of goods. So we want to export this and this will work for um, for discounts too so if you had discounts on your invoices they would also uh, appear on your debit column so you could account for those. Obviously you would have to include that account too in addition to the income the cost of goods you also want to include any uh, discount account that you, you want um, included in your profit margin report. All right, so um, next step is going to be to export this. And let me drag this over. So this is what it looks like in Excel. And the next step is going to be to get rid of all these empty rows. We see all these empty rows. We don't necessarily need them. Um, and actually hinder what we're trying to do so uh, a couple different ways of doing this you could just you know um, highlight the rows and delete that's going to be quick uh, but if you have a lot of different sections um, another cool trick is to highlight the whole column here or uh, the date column and then you want to press control G for go and then uh, click special and then we just want the blank rows so we click the blanks uh, button and then it's gonna select all the blank um, rows or cells in that column and then we want to click delete and we want to delete the entire row so that's just a cool um, Excel shortcut alright so now we have all the data that we need for our report in Excel so we basically want to make a pivot table out of this so we click uh, in any cell. Oh, you could also change this into a table by pressing Control T, and then um, it's just it's nicer to look at. And you could also run filters if you want. Um, but basically, what we really want to do is create a pivot table. So you click the Insert, um, and then Pivot Table on the far left. And we'll put this on a new a new sheet. That way, it's easier to see. and press OK. Alright, so now we have our pivot table sheet and we have to select the, the different options that we want to see. So basically for our values we want well first of all the rows we're gonna make our um, invoice numbers. So right away you'll see that we have our invoice numbers now uh, displayed here and for the values we want to see our credits uh, and then our debits so right away uh, you'll notice that Excel defaults to count and basically what it's doing is it's counting all the cells um, and that's not we want what we want we want the sum so right down here in the values area you could click that little triangle and then click value field settings when well, we want the sum so click sum all right that looks good and then uh, for the debit column also same thing we want the sum so click sum all right nice 
So now we have two different columns. We have the sum of credit and then sum of debit. And we could actually rename this. So this is basically your sales. And this is your cost of goods sold. And then uh, you could say discounts too, if you had discounts. So now we need, we want to add a different another column, and the third column is going to be our um, our profit. So basically, up here in the the toolbar area, we want to add um, add another field, and this is going to be a calculated field. So you could click here and where it says field items and sets now your excel might look a little different but um, you do have this somewhere so uh, you, you might have to figure out exactly where it is on your version of excel uh, but i believe i'm using 2010 so click on uh, calculated field and we want to name this our profit you could do this uh, for a number of different functions, you, you can do profit margin, um, but we just want to see our profit, just to keep it simple. And basically it's just going to be our credits minus debits, uh, and let's take out that zero. All right, so credit minus debit. All right. So now over here, um, in our third column we have our profit. So once we have our, our profit per invoice you could customize this report a little bit more. You could We could add the memo section where we have our product name. Um, that way you could see uh, actual profit per product per invoice. So that, that's pretty neat. Um, we could get rid of actually the, the invoice number altogether and then what we have is profit per product um, so that's that shows us our profit per product for those um, invoices on that specific day uh, so if we want to add the name I mean uh, the invoice number we could go ahead and put that back in there uh, you can minimize You could group those items together and we get back to our profit per invoice. So yeah, really there's, there's a lot you could do um, once you have the data in Excel. It's very easy to manipulate it. Um, another neat thing you could do is probably you could add the name of the customer. That way we could get our profit per customer. Um, and then if you have several different invoices, they'll all show up here. Just nice. it's it's good information to have. So and then and then you could break it down even further. You could do profit per customer, per invoice, and then per item. Um, so really the possibilities are are endless. Um, as long as you have good data, you know you could. As much as you put into QuickBooks is what you get. You could get out of it. So I'll I'll leave it at that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll also leave my email address in the description section of this video. That way, uh, you could also email me if you have any specific um, concerns or comments. And uh, Thank you for watching and have a nice day.